Alrighty guys, Rob here, back at the off-grid tiny house, or from the off-grid tiny house. <coughs> so, in front of you here, um, if you don't know, you can go back and look up my the off-grid tiny house destroyed video. This material, aluminum flashing, was ripped off my roof that I put up there. Now, I was looking for different options for making DIY survival stoves and I said hey why spend any money when I have a whole roll of flashing left over from the roof job so I went over to the trailer and actually got some scrap from when the destruction happened so I'm laying out um, I, if you can see it here, this is a scrap piece, so I got one, two, three pieces, as much as I could out of this piece. So I could just need, um, uh, I have another scrap piece in my bedroom here, and I can do, use that for many more pieces, plus the final four, the fourth one that I need for this. So I'm going to make a DIY survival stove out of this aluminum. Then I don't need to worry about painting it or anything like that. And it should be heat resistant enough for a, a survival stove. Now, this is pretty thin gauge. Um, so what I'm going to do is make it just like I did the galvanized scrap metal. So... I'm going to cross break it, I'm going to fold all the edges, and um, I'll probably do less holes this time, and give that a try, two per pane or panel, and we'll try that out. Um, also, you guys recommended a building a top piece for the survival stoves. I found a better solution. It costs a little bit of money. It cost me a dollar twenty-five. What it is is a small steel rack in the cooking department of the Dollar Tree that you can lay right on top of the stove, and it will work perfectly for um, this application. And it's light, light and strong. So we're gonna try that out, guys. So this is what I'm working on doesn't cost me anything I'm trying to do stuff that won't cost me, me a lot of money or any at all because I'm on a fixed budget with uh, everything going on um, so that's what I've been working on guys so in the future videos I will show me making this and then we'll do a first uh, burn a burn test and I'll, uh, also use the um, thermal camera this time Stu recommended, which I didn't even think of at the time, for the burn, and we'll do that. So that's it.